question is, if you want to become a better day trader, do this. Do you think each day is a day trader? Do you think it's a better day trader? The benefits of journaling are countless, and there are specific reasons of why I personally journal. Among them it's to clear my mind, to feel aware, to be productive and to inspire creativity. I actually started journaling last year and I found it quite difficult to stick with it, to find a way that would make me want to journal every day. It was not until this year that I actually made the conscious effort to find a way that would help me to keep journaling every single day, every single morning. It just broke down to one very specific reason, and it was to make it simple and fun. That's actually two reasons, but you get it. Everything that goes into the journal has one very specific reason, such that I continue doing it day after day. So I usually start, obviously, by writing the date. That way, if I want to look back in the future, I know what day I'm writing to. Then I write four or five, sometimes six, the main to-do activities of the day, it can be anything. It can be from cleaning the house to actually journaling, going to the gym, it can be working, anything that I have to complete and achieve by that day. I find that writing four, five, perhaps six, it's the limit. That way it helps me to find the priorities for the day and feel accomplished by that. If for some reason the day before I couldn't finish it, I just write the arrow for the next day and I do it the next day because it needs to be done. Next to it and on the same level, I write why. I found this on a previous video and I actually find it interesting to do. I find that writing why I'm doing something helps me find the reason and the purpose on the things and it helps me to know why I'm doing certain activity. It sounds obvious, but once you start finding the reasons of certain things, for example, journaling, it's for my mental clarity, doing sports is for my physical and mental health, working, it's to earn money. Once I start writing that activity next to it, I start finding the value and the meaning on the things that I'm doing on my day to day. If for some reason I cannot find the why of I'm doing something, I reevaluate whether I should be doing it or not. The next step for me is to write affirmations. Yes, it may sound silly to write affirmations, but I actually find it that once you start believing what you say, it helps you to achieve your goals. It also helps you to disrupt negative patterns of, oh, I cannot do this, or this is not gonna work out, to I am gonna do this, I am gonna achieve this. And that way, it set a new route on your brain for a positive energy. I also try to write down things that are achievable. For example, I write down, I'm happy, I'm a successful person. I don't write down, I have $1 million uh, by the end of this year, just because I know that that's not gonna happen. So I try to write down things that I think are possible, achievable, and usually at, at the end as well, the day for example, end of 2023 or beginning of this. A lot of times the phrases are the same as the previous day just because I want to set that cadence in my brain that I am that type of person. And a lot of times it's just something new and generic that I just come up with. Eventually new thought patterns start appearing on your brain, positive, hopefully, and you start believing and your brain starts thinking and making connections into this new attitude and you will eventually become that person that you say you want to be. This could help you to learn a new skill, to improve, get a new job, improve your mental health, improve your physical health, and yeah, you get it. The next thing I do is I write my gratitude. So I'm grateful for, and then a sentence. Usually these ones change, and it can be anything, from I'm grateful to have a loving partner, to I'm grateful to have a stable job or food on the table. In positive psychology research, gratitude is consistently and positively correlated with a healthier state of mind. And 
overall greater happiness. Gratitude helps people to establish wrong relationships, be grateful, be more down to earth, relish good experiences, deal with adversity and improve overall relationships. So that's why I try to and write what I'm, doing for, for, what I'm grateful for every day. The next thing I do is I write my thoughts. This can be anything. I just write whatever's on top of my mind. It usually concerns an important topic, can be from how I'm feeling. It's a brain dump, so I just write whatever comes to my mind first things first. I start writing, not put that many thought into what I write, and I just write and write. It can be one page, it can be three pages, but whatever I write, it's going there, stays there, and eventually in the future, the more specific I am, the more I'm able to comprehend in the future what I was thinking back then. So journaling in that sense helps me to look back in the future so my future me can look back to a date and can look back to how i was feeling what was going through my mind that way and this way make connections on my state of mind and what things went and how they went and become a better person overall last but not least i try to write well i try to draw i find this challenging but fun and I usually try to draw something that is related to my thoughts. So trying to make new connections in terms of my creativity and how I think that they would develop or how I think what I thought on words go into a picture, for example. Maybe silly, but it's fun. They may be ugly, but it's fun and I don't care. And it's just a way for me to make new patterns, new connections and enhance my creativity in a different way that I'm not used to it. So yeah, that's how I journal, how that makes it fun for me, makes it easy. I don't go, I don't do weekly reviews, monthly reviews, cause I find it not fun. So I just don't do it. I find that journaling every day helps me keep myself centered, helps my thoughts in keep in a orderly way and it's fun. It helps me start my day with purpose, meaning and eventually in the future I'm going to be able to look back into this journal. I have the one from previous year, I have this one this year and look back, oh, what was going on? Now remember when this happened and I can just look back to what I was feeling and how I was feeling this day, particularly day. Just perhaps this doesn't work for you. Uh, perhaps there's countless thousand videos online, but this is what works for me. This is what I think it's important. And this is what makes me want to continue every day and I have fun and I hope you have fun and I hope you enjoy this video. If you liked it, just please like, subscribe to the channel because there's a lot of new content coming ahead and I'll see you in the next one.